Are you wondering how you can use hybrid rendering in your Angular apps without any headaches? Good. I have some really cool stuff to show you, so stick around. Hey friends, I'm Mark from the Angular team at Google and welcome to NG Update, the series where we take a look at features from the latest Angular releases. In this video, we're going to be looking at hybrid rendering in Angular. What is hybrid rendering? Hey, that's a great question. Let's talk about it. When we say hybrid rendering, we're describing a solution where some routes of your application are rendered at build time, then served up by the server, and other routes are rendered when the user makes a request. This can be a little confusing, so let's break things down using my favorite food, pizza. Pre-rendering is like when a restaurant decides to make 12 pizzas in the morning for the lunch rush. They're predicting that lots of people are going to want a cheese pizza delivered, so when someone calls for a cheese pizza, there's nothing to do. Server-side rendering is more like when you call the restaurant and order a pizza and they make it right when you order and deliver it to you. This sounds extra crisp, but how do you get this working in Angular? We're going to take advantage of Angular Universal and pre-rendering. Let's get into it. To enable all of this, we'll need to set up Angular Universal, the package we use for server-side rendering. We're going to use an existing Angular app made with the latest version of Angular, 11.2 at the time of this video. We'll use the ng-add command and install ng-universal slash express engine. This adds some scripts and dependencies in your package.json along with the code we need to enable it. Our application needs some routes, so let's add those. We'll add an about route and a contact us route. We're choosing these two because, well, they contain data that likely won't change frequently and are a great candidate for pre-rendering. To create these routes, we'll use Angular CLI generate command. G is for generate, M is for module, and we give the module a name. Next, we provide the route flag and the name followed by the parent module. All right, we've done all the required setup. Now let's pre-render some routes. Looking at the console, it shows the message letting us know that the routes have been pre-rendered. Awesome, let's check out the goodies in the disk folder. Would you look at this? There's a nice fresh pre-rendered page for this route. Because this route is pre-rendered, we can actually serve this page right now. I know, pure magic. Let's serve the application locally using Node. Inside the disk folder, we can find the main JS file which we'll use to launch the server. We can make a request for the contact page and see it being served by the server. And the same goes for the about page, but there's one major difference. The contact page is pre-rendered, so it's in a static format, and the JavaScript is loaded in the background. The first and largest contentful paints are really fast too. The server-side rendered version is rendered on the server when the page is requested, so that work still needs to be done. Here's the best part. Our solution is hybrid rendering, which lets us choose which pages to pre-render and which you can render server-side. Once you add Angular Universal, a new section named pre-render will be created in your angular.json file. Under options, we can configure which routes will be pre-rendered. By default, Angular will try to guess which routes to pre-render. Now this turns out to be all of your non-parameterized routes. To get more fine-tuned control here, set the property guess routes to false. From here, you can specify a file with the desired routes using route file, or you can specify a list of routes for the routes property as an array. With this amount of flexibility, you can craft a great solution that best fits the needs of your apps. Pretty fantastic, right? Well, it gets better. With the Angular version 11.1 release, support for hybrid rendering comes built in. I know you want to try this out. Don't worry, we got you covered. Our very own Minko Getchef has created a sample project that you can try out yourself, link in the description. 
Also, leave us a comment and let us know how you're using hybrid rendering in your applications. Okay, friends, do me a favor, leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, go build great apps.